Kicking off to a flying start as the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? That's what we have in store for you here on EA TV. Stay with us for live coverage every kick of the ball. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. What might we see today, Stuart? Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. So here is the lineup. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Ricardo Rodriguez in the fullback positions. Denis Zakaria plays with Granit Xhaka in the center of the pitch. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Matteo Darmian starts on a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. Italy, the defending champions, up against Spain, Albania and Croatia in Group B. It was slightly against the head when you think about what happened last time out at the Euros, because Italy, of course, had been going through a bad patch but you almost have to take them seriously. Is this the moment? And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Over it comes. Just the clearance that was called for. Pellegrini. Chance to play it in. Well played in from the flag, but not to any great effect. Dan and Doye. And now Rodriguez. Well, I really enjoy watching Nicolo Barella. Interested to know what you think he might produce today. Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous. When he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Zakaria. Xhaka. Running with the ball confidently. Could be. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Ndoye. Well, they have the ball once more. Alessandro Bastoni. Federico Chiesa. Gianluca Scamacca. That's a good looking ball. And fine goalkeeping.
Now sending it in. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. May just be the impetus they need, as they certainly haven't been at their best today. And played the pass well. Plenty of options. Takes on the shots. Determined defending. Vargas. Ndoye. On the ball, Zakaria. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Doing well to keep possession. Well, nothing comes of it. Referee indicates goal kick. Buongiorno. Federico Di Marco. Good use of the ball as they look to extend their lead. Well, over the last 15 minutes, Italy have really started to take control, haven't they? And their attacking play has been excellent. Surely only a matter of time before they extend their lead here. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. Crossing into the middle. No nonsense clearance. Now the counter-attack looks on. Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. Di Marco. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Cross could be useful. A very effective clearance. Italy recovering possession well. Alessandro Bastoni. Jorginho. Oh, could be an opportunity here. He's blocked it. They won't complain about having won the corner. And maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Played over. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Nil here, and the ball is moving again. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Rodriguez. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, it's been a masterclass in how to dominate a game from midfield, Stuart. Well, he has that assist to his name, but it's been his control of that midfield area that's made him the outstanding player today. Every time he gets on the ball, he seems to find the right pass. He's been excellent. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Pellegrini, now with Barella, is this the moment, and a goal, there he is at the double, they just can't
subdue him. Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Granit Xhaka. It's with Widmer. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Alessandro Bastoni. The ball with Chiesa. Now there to intercept. He's in with a chance. Oh, good work by the keeper. They couldn't maintain possession. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. So a personnel change then. Okafor. Chiesa. Pellegrini. Sylvan Widmer. And we're into the final half hour. Stefan. Oh, a smart stop. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. the corner played into the box well, you can't really head them any better than that but the goalkeeper was up to the task and very deftly cut out the danger here as he runs at them Envedi and here's Xhaka is it going to be Granit Xhaka well, capable of so much better to be honest well, I expected more as well, Derek. I thought from that sort of position, he had every chance of scoring, but it's a poor effort. Well, there it is. I'm not sure what all the fuss was about. It wasn't even close in the end. Alessandro Buongiorno. Fine sequence of passes. Pellegrini. Back to Pellegrini. Uh, plays with a positional sense that is second to none. Ball retention so important. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Pellegrini. Pellegrini, targets available, cross comes in. Crucial piece of defending. <laughs> Who can they pick out? Well, didn't miss by very much and never easy to strike it on the volley in that fashion. Well, from that range, though, it should be a goal. At least it should hit the target.
Giovanni Di Lorenzo. On to Jorginho. Federico Di Marco. Federico Chiesa. An alert intervention. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Zakaria. Difficult to stop him. In position. Oh, and a wonderful stop. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. Pellegrini. It's with Widmer. Might lead to a chance. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, did his job defensively. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Giovanni Di Lorenzo Barella has it and playing it through he's in behind the defence here and he scored not once but twice they simply cannot stop him and no wonder he's enjoying himself Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Zakaria Stefan determined defending Pellegrini Okafor it's with Widmer And nothing comes of this attack. Zakaria. Stefan. Looking for the right angle. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? A disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. What can he do with it now? Now the attack fizzled out. And there goes the final whistle. It's a victory for Italy. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.